Let's talk about Burp Suite. Gotta love these application names. Burp Suite is an integration of various tools put together for performing security testing of web applications. Burp Suite helps the penetration tester in the entire testing process from the mapping phase through to identifying vulnerabilities and exploiting them. Now, the various features of Burp Suite include proxy, spider, intruder, repeater, uh, sequencer, decoder, and comparer. Now, let me explain the Burp proxy. Using Burp proxy, one can intercept the traffic between the browser and target application. Now, this option works in similar fashion to something like a man-in-the-middle attack vector. So in this demonstration, I want you to consider the following example of a Wikipedia login form test user and test password. So first, switch the intercept mode on in the suite. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then let's go ahead and edit the proxy listeners. So I'll select edit and make sure the port number is 8080. We're then going to bind to an address. We'll check all interfaces for the IP address of 127.0.0.1. Then we're going to select request handling. Check support individual or invisible proxy. And the forward option is going to allow us to send the packets from the source IB or IP to the destination IP. The drop option allows you to drop the packet if you feel really it, it doesn't need analysis. Now in this demonstration, we're going to capture the login credentials of um, english.wikipedia.org or en.wikipedia.org. And so before you do this, make sure you check whether the proxy is enabled in the browser. So we're going to go to network and then settings, manual proxy configuration should be checked. HTT proxy should be 127.0.0.1 and then we want our port number to be 8080. And then we're going to use this proxy for all protocols should be checked in the advanced options. So we'll hit OK. Now I'm going to browse this site. I'm going to go to intercept. So it's gathered the site details for wikipedia.org. And now we're going to go to the web to that web page and then keep searching this site so that really the, the, the tool will capture the details. We'll click on the forward option. The forward option will capture the details of the site. Now looks like now that I have the login page, I'm now going to switch off the intercept and then go back to the web page. So I'm getting that the site has an untrusted error. So I'll click I understand the risks. Click Add Exception so I can get through to this. And then click Confirm Security Exception. We're going to type the username and password. So like I said, we're going to use Test User and Test Password. Now this information will be captured in Burp Suite. I'm going to switch on Intercept and then click the Forward option. Well, let's return to the web page and click Login. Okay. So now it's going to capture the details for us. So we've captured the login credentials here. And the Burp proxy, the Burp proxy listener, is enabled on port 8080 of the local host. There are various options for um, intercept setup, including request methods, uh, matching file extension, and URL scope for the client requests. We also have other such options as request type, content type, and URL scope in the server responses are available and can be selected based on the attack scenario. Burp Suite and really a range of different steps can be performed from this point on. The capture can be dropped or sent to the spider, sequencer, or comparer. So there's an option to change the request methods from the get post and so on. Now the tool also allows for modification of headers and doing other interesting things with the HTTP packets in transit which really can be quite dangerous in certain scenarios. Burp Suite describes how to choose the scope of the security testing, the site map and site scope, displaying the various sections of a particular domain. Now, it looks like a large number of subdomains are visible within google.com. Also we noted that visited pages are displayed in darkened color, so that's one good thing to help us see where we've been here. So here I'll show this. Visited page history is a darkened color here, as I mentioned. Like the site map and site scope display the various sections of a particular domain. 
Now there's a large number of subdomains visible within wikipedia.org. Also, it should be noted that the visited pages are, again, displayed in a darker color as already shown or as I already discussed. Okay, the search executed by the user, the keyword finder. In, in this case, the search term security is highlighted in Burp Spider. The Burp Spider tool is used to get a complete list of URLs and parameters for each site. The tool looks into each page that was manually visited and goes through every link it finds within the testing scope. Now, when using Burp Spider, you're going to want to ensure that the proxy and interceptors are switched off. The more links manually visited, the better, as it gives the spider a larger coverage area. So Burp Suite sets up the spider using the options menu. The authentication and the thread count are important. The authentication field can be set with the username and password combination. Uh, this is so that when the spider comes across a login page, it can automatically go through the authentication process. Thread count is the number of concurrent threads that are being forced. For a local test, this count can, can be high. It really could be, it could be it's really quite high. A higher thread count implies faster processing, but also a, a larger load, so you want to you consider that. Once spidering is complete, the next step in this burp suite is to use the scanner for testing. Tests can either be active or passive, as we talked about. Active tests send data and analyze the possibilities, while passive tests examine all traffic and determine the vulnerabilities present in the application. Test results should really always be validated, as no automated tool is perfect. Burp Suite can also be used to detect SQL and XSS vulnerabilities, so you want to consider that when you're looking at those. Let me list a few more tools that you can try out. In addition to Zap and Burp Suite, you have many more tools. Some of them are Ettercap, Hamster, Surfjack, Hunt, Tampere or Tamper IE, mm -hmm. Ferret, Perjack, What's Up Gold Engineers Toolkit, Juggernaut, and Cookie Cadger. We're going to demonstrate some of the features of Tampere here. I love Tampere. Mm -hmm.